How's it going guys and welcome to Game Involved, I'm Shifty Cow and in today's video we're going to be talking about how DICE and EA can kill Battlefield 5 and hopefully what they can actually do to avoid this. So before we get into it, if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe because it really helps us out. But anyways guys, let's hop into the video. So in no particular order, the first thing that I have to put on this list is the theme. Now with Battlefield Hardline, it was a pretty big flop, especially on PC, and one of the biggest things that people didn't like about it is it really didn't fit with the theme of typical Battlefield. Most of them tend to be military shooters, and this one just kind of strayed too far away. It did have a lot of things here and there that people didn't enjoy about it, but for me, I think this is one of the biggest reasons, is the theme really just didn't match up with what people thought as a Battlefield game. So, for the next Battlefield game, a ton of people have suggested things like World War I, World War II, and even returning to Vietnam in a Bad Company 3 style of game. So, while these are really good suggestions, and they clearly have a lot of fan support, I really can't see EA or DICE going in on this, solely because Battlefield 5 is going to be a main mainstream Battlefield game versus something like a spin-off like you would see on Hardline. So while there's still a chance for this, I really doubt that EA is going to risk all their investment money on a game that might sell well versus something like a modern to futuristic military shooter that people have come to expect with a Battlefield title. So the next topic on this list is destruction, and Battlefield is known for having insane amounts of destruction, being able to topple down an entire building with a grenade launcher, and of course those insane Levolution events that look just absolutely stunning. But one of the things that Battlefield games have have recently started doing is limiting how much you can actually destroy as micro levolution such as walls, fences, and things like that, and instead gone with something like a large levolution event, and there's been a couple of games <clears throat> ah, hmm, where there's just really not been a lot of levolution that the player could actually cause. There's some really cool changes that happen in the game, but after that major Levolution event is over, there's very little actual destruction that you can do by yourself. You could maybe chop down like a chain link fence, which is pretty standard for every game, but there's not a lot of things like blowing through a wall or collapsing a building that you could do at multiple areas. So I really hope they actually consider micro Levolution over the huge Levolution events while still keeping those in mind because they do look absolutely incredible and make some awesome trailers. But in reality, I think micro Levolution is way more important. So moving on to our next topic, Topic, we're going to be talking about netcode and bugs. Now you had to see this one coming with the launch of Battlefield 4 the netcode was just worse than ever and really it pushed a lot of people away from this game. It's definitely doing very well right now solely because DICE has gone back in and done insane amounts of fixes and you know updates bug patches, all those types of things, they've really done a lot of work and I give them a huge kudos for that because they could have just left it and then had maybe a couple of people playing it and just profited off all the pre-sales and stuff like that, but instead they went back, fixed it, and it plays a lot smoother than it did at launch. It's still not perfect, it's still got bugs, and of course it has an entire YouTube series dedicated to all the bugs and glitches of it, but it still is a pretty solid game right now and there are still a lot of people playing it, so I think as long as they release a semi-polished product, they should be pretty good and Battlefield 5 should be successful. Now, moving on to our fourth thing for killing Battlefield 5 is basically a collection of items from previous Battlefield titles that we would really hate to see return in Battlefield 5. Now, most of these are from Battlefield 4, but let's get started. The first thing is anything with indirect fire, including the UCAV, mortars, M142 artillery truck, or even things like the airburst, which pretty much all of these belong to the support class, and while they're very fun to use and get kills with, it really does screw up the gameplay and it's incredibly hard to counter. So moving on to the defensive perk, this is probably one of the most hated things in Battlefield 4, mostly because first of all, it's set by default, and so a lot of people have running and they don't even know it, and also it completely destroys the aggressive recon class and that type of playstyle. So anytime Time you're adding in some randomness on when you're actually going to get kills, it's really hard to actually play aggressively if that's going to mean the difference between life and death. So we definitely don't want this to return and we hope never to see it in a game ever again. But moving on to the mobile AA, this is probably one of the most annoying things when you're trying to fly a little bird or something like an attack chopper in Battlefield 4. And the big reason for this is if the mobile AAs had a limited border that they could go around in the map so they actually had to capture objectives and be in a vulnerable area, it would actually be pretty fun. You could coordinate with your team to take it out and they'd be kind of like a mini H HVT and a side objective, but instead it actually turned into a mobile AA, goes back to its base, sits there and just camps there the entire game goes like 33-0 because you literally cannot attack it back there. So they definitely need to do either some kind of adjustment with it, make it so it can't be in an uncap, 
or just take it out of the game completely. So moving on to the last thing that we really do not want to see return in Battlefield 5 is the commander mode being in the way it is in Battlefield 4. Now, being able to call in things like cruise missiles and gunships is really cool, but when only one team has it and the other one is just left to kind of fend for themselves, it gets really annoying and there's nothing you can do to take out the gunships other than things like jets, which a lot of times people just use as transport unless they're actually good at them. So they definitely need to take another look at this mechanic because relying on one player to carry an entire team is really just kind of a broken mechanic in itself. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video talking about how to kill Battlefield 5 and what they should do to avoid it. And if you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or feedback you'd like us to see, be sure to leave that down in the comments below. But until next time guys, stay buttery.